Q-Ed Productions presents Drugs in Our Society. Film Strip 6, LSD, Worth the Risk? In 1938, a Swiss chemist, Dr. Albert Hoffman, was searching for some new drugs to be used in the treatment of migraine headaches. Dr. Hoffman was studying some of the chemicals that come from the molds which grow on rye plants. One of these chemicals was called lysergic acid. The 25th chemical change that was made in lysergic acid had this formula and was called lysergic acid diethylamide. Sour is the German word for acid. This is commonly abbreviated LSD. Lysergic acid diethylamide was not a successful treatment for migraine headaches. It was set aside for five years. Then, in 1943, Dr. Hoffman swallowed a minute quantity of LSD and soon experienced some very peculiar mental symptoms. Further study showed that LSD did indeed create remarkable mental changes in those who took even the tiniest amount. Many of these changes were similar to those reported by insane or psychotic patients. Hallucinations are unreal, non-existent things that a person believes he sees or hears. Drugs which cause these false experiences are called hallucinogens. Man had previously known other hallucinogenic drugs, peyote, opium, and marijuana. These drugs were either weak or produced unpleasant side effects such as headaches, severe nausea, or sleepiness. LSD was different. It was very potent and caused none of these unpleasant sensations. Pure LSD is one of the most potent chemicals known. The average dose is 300 micrograms or 300 millionths of a gram. An amount of LSD the size of a common aspirin tablet would make 1,000 doses. Pure LSD is odorless, tasteless, and colorless. It may easily be dissolved in water or alcohol. For nearly 25 years after it was first discovered, LSD was used only in medical experiments. Because of the hallucinations it produced, it was used to study some forms of mental illness or psychosis. Some experiments were carried out using LSD in the treatment of alcoholics or of patients dying of incurable disease, such as cancer. The results of these experiments are still uncertain. The possible medical uses of LSD are still largely unknown. Scientists also discovered that tiny quantities of LSD would change the behavior of cats, spiders, and other animals used in experiments. Other people participated in LSD experiments and noted that the sensations were often exciting and beautiful. Some reported their experiences in glowing terms. LSD then became, for a few individuals, the most important experience in their lives. Some even quit their jobs and lived only for LSD. According to the reports of these LSD enthusiasts, all thoughts were made pure and the individual was provided new insight into the mind. The organization of the universe suddenly became clear. These individuals were quick to publicize their experiences and recommended LSD to others. A few even regarded their LSD use as a religious or spiritual experience and formed cults devoted to this new and potent drug. The use of LSD soon spread to the college campus. Impressionable young people reported that LSD gave them a new understanding of the meaning of life. But as the use of LSD increased, it became apparent that it was not without hazards. Because some LSD users suffered severe complications, doctors began to issue warnings. Governments passed laws making it illegal to manufacture or to sell the drug. LSD was driven underground, but it did not disappear. For the experienced chemist, illegal LSD is relatively easy to make with simple equipment. Because of its potency and the fact that it can be dissolved, LSD is extremely easy to conceal and transport. 
LSD can be dissolved in alcohol, on sugar cubes, or even into an ordinary blotter or piece of cloth. A black market supply is available to anyone who really wants it and can pay for it. A capsule or cap of 300 micrograms can be bought for about $5. This is plenty for one LSD experience or trip. Many college students and teenagers have taken LSD trips. While this may be a thrill and a wild experience for some, others have had serious trouble. One of the principal dangers of LSD is the severe mental symptoms that it produces. A number of teenage users have become patients in mental hospitals. Some are cured quickly, but others have had to stay for weeks or months and may never recover their normal mental function. LSD is especially dangerous because no one can tell which individual will have a bad experience, a freak out. It may happen to anyone who takes LSD. It may happen the first time, or it may happen suddenly after several good trips. Sometimes bad trips consist of severe panic. As normal thought processes change and become distorted, some individuals become very frightened and panic-stricken. Others develop severe mental illness, schizophrenia or split personality. This may last for many days, weeks, and occasionally months after the LSD experience. Others will enjoy an apparently successful trip. Then, afterwards, they will experience very severe nervousness and anxiety for many weeks. These symptoms may be horrifying and last for many months. Such people are unable to continue school or must give up their jobs. Bad trips often result from other chemicals having been mixed in with LSD. One of the most peculiar aspects of LSD dangers is the fact that any of these terrifying mental changes may occur again months or even years after the LSD experience. Symptoms may occur again quite suddenly for no apparent reason, even if no more LSD is taken. Many accidents have occurred because of the way that LSD affects a person's judgment. Sometimes people on LSD think that they can fly such distorted thoughts have led to serious accidents and even suicides. One cause of deaths resulting from LSD occurs when some persons become frightened by their reactions to the drug. Experiencing terrifying sensations, they may become panic-stricken and commit suicide. Physically, there are no certain ways to tell if a person has taken LSD. Although the pupils of the eyes are often enlarged, it cannot be traced in a person's system after 45 minutes. But beside the psychological dangers, there are definite physical dangers. Recent studies show that there may be changes in the blood cells of people who take LSD. These changes resemble certain fatal blood cancers or leukemias. Chromosomes are tiny structures within each cell of the body which control the heredity and action of that cell. Large numbers of damaged chromosomes have apparently been discovered in the cells of some LSD users. When the casual LSD user of today matures and begins to raise a family, the damaged chromosomes in the sex cells may lead to deformed children. No one knows that this won't happen. How does LSD work in the body? Why does it affect mental function in such peculiar ways? Medical science has not yet discovered exactly how LSD works, but there are some theories. One of the important chemicals found in brain cells is called serotonin. LSD has certain chemical similarities to serotonin and may act by interfering with its normal function. It is known that EEG, or brainwave changes, occur in animals who take large doses of LSD. Convulsions have occurred in a few humans using LSD. Though no human deaths have been reported from LSD poisoning, 
massive doses have been known to kill laboratory animals. One of the greatest dangers about LSD is its severe effects on the personality. Some users who get hooked on LSD drop out of normal society into a useless, vagabond existence. Often, such people claim that they are leading an artistic life, stating that LSD has made them very creative individuals. Scientists have carefully studied creative abilities in people before and after taking LSD, but have not been able to find increased creative ability among such individuals. Some artists and musicians who take LSD think that they are more creative. Scientific and artistic measurements cannot prove this, and often any listener can tell that their performance has not improved. It has been said that artistic achievement is mostly work. LSD may increase a person's inspiration, but it definitely decreases his self-discipline and willingness to work. In summary, LSD is very dangerous. No one can tell who will have a bad trip and lose control of his mind. Serious mental illnesses and fatal accidents have occurred too often for any sensible person to call LSD safe. The way that LSD acts in the body is not known. The changes it causes in body cells and the damage it may do to unborn children further indicate the hidden dangers. LSD has not lived up to the claims of its loudest prophets. Although they believe that they have new insight and understanding, their own lives have not changed for the better. Most become intellectual bums, wandering around without jobs, depending on the rest of society to support them. Fooling around with LSD involves too many unknowns. Even pure LSD has many unpredictable but very real dangers. And there are other serious questions about black market LSD. Who knows what's in it? Who knows how strong it really is? Who knows what other dangerous or deadly chemicals have been mixed in? Who will freak out? Who will lose his mind? Who will panic and commit suicide? Whose body will be harmed permanently? With all of these unanswered questions, is it really worth the risk?